we've uh, just received this shipment from China. We think these are a set of four lithium ion phosphate uh, battery cells. Uh, we're not 100% sure about that, but we think they are. So we're about to unbox them, see how well they're packed, just see the general condition. Uh, this is a, a new supplier that we have uh, decided to try out. Um, her name is Amy, if you're interested. Uh, she's in China and uh, she sources uh, various items, uh, lithium ion phosphate battery cells uh, from suppliers in China that she knows and trusts and uh, she has quite a good reputation. So we're quite keen to see uh, just what these look like. Uh, so we're going to unbox this now, just check the general condition, the general state of the cells. And then at uh, some stage we are going to top balance them and then run a number of capacity tests on these cells. So these are rated at 280. That is if they are the cells that we think they are. So let's get unboxing. The, uh, I'm going to start by opening a box this way. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure which way this box is meant to go. Um, there are some labels here, uh, but there are also labels on this side and there are a few staples here. Uh, so we are not yet 100% sure which way it goes. So I'm going to start by undoing it here. It looks like this box has been pushed into this one. So that's the only negative thing so far is that it's very confusing as to which way is upright and which way is not. Right. In fact, I'm just going to cut this off. <clears throat> Looks like there are multiple boxes within boxes. But of that, I'm not yet 100% sure. Right, let's see. This goes like that. This is a 200 amp hour, eight, 280 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery cell. If I look at the overall condition, it's looking good. There are no dents, no scratches. <coughs> if I look on the top of the cell, uh, you can see there is the all-important QR code. Some previous cells that we bought from someone else didn't have any. Uh, in this particular case, uh, they have uh, studs that are uh, laser welded onto the terminals, uh, which uh, a lot of people are raving about as being uh, very effective. Uh, it's, these are six millimeter studs, so enough space to put some decent lugs on with some and that's a very small seating area here so it'll be interesting to actually run some tests and see how these uh, perform how well they, they handle the um, the heavy load test that we'll be performing but on the whole <coughs> i'm quite happy with the uh, state of these cells they are good well, let's carry on let's take all of them out and see what they look like There are the bus bars and the nuts that came with them. So four bus bars and hopefully eight nuts. <coughs> so here we have four uh, brand new cells uh, arrived yesterday from China. Um, the, I'm impressed with the packaging, it's, it's good. Uh, the cells are in, in good condition. Uh, I like the fact that they have QR codes, so there's some form of identifier on them. Um, uh, as I mentioned, previous cells that we bought uh, didn't have these, so these cells that we got from another supplier 
uh, have no QR codes on them, no form of identifying. So uh, we were a bit concerned about that. These were also rated at 300 amp hours and are only producing 285 amp hours. These are rated at 280 amp hours. So we'll be doing some tests to see uh, if they meet that capacity and hopefully exceed it. So there we have it.